Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Good morning, guys, and welcome to what is uh, episode four as we clear out to the hoarded house. This time around, I've got my family with me. Melissa. Hello. Steven. Hannah at the back. Hello. Abigail. And somewhere there's a Jason. He's outside. Um, <laughs> they are helping today because it's actually an important and big day today. Oh, my. This is not a good sign. My back is already like against me as I get out of the vehicle. It is a long trip out here. Um, the goal today is uh, we are going to try and get all the furniture emptied out of the house and um, that'll give us a whole bunch more room when Patrick and I are here again next week. So uh, let's go inside the house. I'll give the kids the tour and then get them to work. <laughs> Welcome family. This is where dad's been. And well, I'm not dad to Hannah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is, where I, this is where I've been. Um, so I've been working upstairs as you might be able to tell. Yeah. And uh, they're already just like exploring all over the place. There's a lot of stuff. I mainly was working in this room the other day where Jason is. There's furniture kind of mixed everywhere. There's stuff all over the place. So um, what I'll do, Melissa, is I'll show you where all the furniture is around the house. Um, I'll get you to coordinate with all these guys to get the furniture moved out to the truck when it comes. Um, and I have to sort like crazy to uh, fill the dumpster up again. Actually, I don't, we'll go in the backyard in a bit. We'll see if the dumpster's there, but it'll be a big plan today. You guys ready for this? Kind of. Sure, Jason looks super excited. <laughs> Look how tall Jason got too. How did that happen? How tall are you now? Six, Six foot three. I blame your genetics now. Your dad was that tall. Yeah. And now Jason's that tall. Abigail's five, what are you now? Five foot three? Five, five, six? Five, six. It's like calling your teenage kid, like, what are you, nine? Uh, okay, let's get to work. Hey, Melissa and Abigail are working on clearing the boxes off so we can actually access this furniture. Um, Steven, Jason, and Hannah are moving stuff out of the way in this room. What are you guys doing in here? Snooping. Okay, other than snooping. Yeah, we're clearing out those TVs, that shelf, and that shelf back there. Did yeah. you see there's a complimentary wig there? That's awesome. I'm going to wear it. I don't know <laughs> if I would trust that. I trust it. You wouldn't trust all it? All the little friends that probably live inside of it. Gross. <laughs> um, so, yeah, th that one, Stephen, will actually get out of the way so we can uh, sell it, but the drawers have to be emptied out. Okay. That other big one there, uh, that'll either be donate or trash to pay upon the condition. All right. Okay, you guys keep doing your thing. Um, I'm going to work in... Uh, actually, I'm going to work in the basement. No, I'm not. I have to make it so they can access this stuff. Oh, there's furniture everywhere. The problem I'm having is that I can't, you know, you have to move stuff out of the way to get to the stuff that's getting picked up. But when you do that, you bury other things. It's part of the problem with, I mean, <laughs> at least a lot of this stuff is boxed up, is boxed, but it's still a big dilemma trying to clear this all out. Did I hear another junk -a lanch in there? Okay. I'm going to get to this sewing machine that's here. I'm kind of the only one that can sort. I'm the main sorting person. That's my job. That's what I got to do. Uh, but today is all about the furniture. So even though I would like to be sorting and getting stuff uh, ready to go to the dumpster or to charity over the next couple of days, um, I really just have to get this uh, this room all sorted, and, not sorted, but cleaned up and accessible. So my piles and my sorting stuff will have to wait until I have a little bit more room, which will hopefully be soon. Well, they're inside doing that. Jason and I have actually come out to the garage. We have to clear a path so the furniture can be exhumed from the uh, front. And it's a bit of a situation right now. This is garage door open. 
Uh, okay, so Jason, I think the only thing we can do is if you want to start grabbing boxes, all this stuff like that baby bassinet, the box of hangers, just bring everything out onto the driveway, Jason, and it can go over along that side. We have to leave a path for travel. And I'm going to come in there and start helping as well. Because there's tables and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, you can keep on going. We're just going to make a pile of stuff outside here. You can put it right on the driveway, uh, but maybe not in front of the steps because that's how we get to the backyard. All right. Thank you, kiddo. First thing we're gonna try and drag out of the driveway is this little Baldwin uh, organ. Once that's out of the way, we can get that desk. Once that's out of the way, we can shuffle things over there and get that desk and access the piano. And behind the piano is the secret hidden safe we found last time. So we'll be inching a little bit closer to that. What was that, Jason? I said that we shouldn't be taking any of those board games home. Which ones? Oh, the Dr. Ruth uh, Game of Good Sex or the Chippendale one? Yeah, no, probably not. That'd be a family awkward board game night. <laughs> um, we are getting closer um to accessing this desk so jason what we're gonna do is all this stuff um has to come off the top of that desk and we're gonna try and wiggle it out uh past these two by fours and whatever else is here i see there's another trunk down there too there's a mystery metal trunk down there uh okay we're gonna clear this all off see if we can get this desk out having a bit of trouble getting this slid out of the way and realize that it's because there are Okay, let's very gently move this out of the way. I just need to get these Medelta jugs out of here. Medelta pottery, of course, old crockware, uh, like Red Wing, is pretty collectible. And there's a few, various sizes. I don't know if any of them have the lids, but this is all good, good stuff for an auction sale anyway. Thank you, Jason. That should be enough to get this thing wiggled out of here now. Oh, and there's a, another hidden box. Oh, yeah. Let, we, let's get those off of there. What is it? Like, it looks like old sales books. And Anyway, this uh, sorting this area is going to be a task for future me uh, when I'm back here with Patrick. But... Today me, today dad, has to worry about uh, getting the furniture out. Oh, Abigail, you can help mom carry the boxes out. Everything that's on top of that table has to go out to the, the lawn so we can access the uh, antique table back there. Thank you girls for the help. Okay, there we go. She's starting to move. Okay, that chair moved out. This is the first, ooh, <laughs> I'll almost having it. that roll down the, okay, ready? We'll take this right out onto the driveway. And we'll set it right like this. Whew, okay. One down, a whole bunch more to go. If that one's heavy, you can just slide it. So you got it. And we can now see more of our predator friend back there. And it is a artist made piece. You can see it's got like a motorcycle or bicycle chain. That looks like heavier, that's motorcycle chain for the hair of these custom welded skulls. Somebody spent a lot of time on that thing. I'll tell you what. Uh, okay, we're at the other desk. So all these boxes off of here need to be moved out, including the ones below. Oh, it's on wheels. That helps. It's like an old thermos. Okay, can you wiggle that one out? There's a hat for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We can access the nice oak roll top desk. It has the key in it still. That's good. Anything in the drawers? Nope. All right. Let's see if we can roll this out now. Okay. We just saw the auction truck drive by. Uh, we still have to access this table right here. 
and that desk over there, but we're making progress. There's progress to be made. How's it going with the boxes, Jason? It's going good. Basically just need those last couple moved and then we can wedge that thing out of there. Biggest concerns for me in this garage, we're getting the, the piano, the roll top, that really nice dining room table out. Uh, that weight bench goes with the weight set that's over there, and I guess that'll be a future problem for future a f another day. Is this going on the truck? Is this thing, or are we... No, that's not going on the truck. Uh, should I just put it on the lawn? Uh, or yeah, let's get this out of the way. What, uh, what are you saying? Is that... We'll get this out of the way first, Jason and I, and then we can backfill some of this stuff. Do you want to... Here for a workout. You know, this isn't nearly big enough truck. Yeah, I'll give you guys a tour of what needs to be done, but uh, we'll there's a lot of furniture. It might have to be another trip next week, I think. Okay. But let's uh, let's show you inside. Okay. We've been moving some of the furniture from the garage out, okay. like the I antique roll top desks no and room stuff. For an MG, is there? No, there's no room for an MG. It's my wife, Melissa. Good morning. One over hiding in there. Well, what the heck? We can't even get in there. Well, that room doesn't have much for furniture, but what we're going to do is start clearing this hallway to, so we can access the table and the, the desk in there. Um, you saw the Predator, hey? I love that. That is beautiful, sir. Yeah, it's all it, out of bike parts. That's, that's just incredible. Yeah, motorcycle parts and welded metal. It's all up, somebody, upcycled. Somebody did an amazing job on that. Yeah. Um, but there's another garage in the back. Oh, is there? And guess what it's full of? Oh. Furniture! Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's good. We oh. like it. We like it. All We're right. thinking bike parts or something. No, okay. I wish. Actually, there is one motorcycle wheel in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the little uh, sideboard is out of there. Uh, Melissa, what did you guys just find a minute ago? Jason, you want to show? Jason. It's all wrapped up nice. It's uh, a rack of, is it bison horns? I don't know. It's or bull horns. Okay, let's put those somewhere safe. We don't want those to get broken. Yeah, maybe Jason, you can just stick those up top. Like, see that little space up there? Okay. See if you can wedge them in there. All right. And uh, we'll try and get this thing out of the way. Nice rack. Wow. <laughs> I'm That's weird. That is a pretty impressive display piece, though. Hey, we got most of the furniture emptied out of this space. The kids are checking out Predator. And uh, what I thought was a safe ends up being one of those massive projection TVs that would have been like a billion dollars in 1987. No, it's being very light. <laughs> oh, there's more furniture back here. There is more stuff. There is more stuff back here. We'll see if we can dig that out. Melissa was saying there's no rhyme or reason to how things are packed. It said tarp, and I thought it must be a tarp. It's not a tarp. What is it? Oh, just like a bunch a... of generic assorted stuff. Oh, there's a cow. Moo. <laughs> Maybe its name is Melissa. I knew you were gonna. Say you were just waiting for that. I thought you... Oh, hang on. <laughs> that was a light one. True. Okay. There is a oil painting. Like that's an actual that's an actual painting. Kind of a simple sort of folk style. Cool. Well, it's still kind of neat. Yeah. Somebody went to some efforts to frame that. So we got back to this cabinet and it's just kind of like a country style homemade it is solid wood it looks like it's solid pine i mean furniture is not necessarily easy to come by these days there's a lot of shortages at the time of this filming inside we've got some nice teacups old maxwell house tan i'm going to turn the light on so we can see better pepsi clock that's good oh antique telephone back there there's treasures but this almost looks like an instrument case. Oh, that's funny. That's what I was waiting to look at. Oh. Is it going to be like a trombone or something? Let's see. What do you think it is? Mm. Any guesses? Doll. Mm. No. 
Oh, look. What is that? Trumpet? Trumb what trombone. Is it's trombone. It's just what I thought it was. What company is it, though? Mm. H. Hot. H O T T L. Hotel. Made in Western Germany. It's always nice to find instruments. Musical instruments always sell. Okay, this is all stuff I have to go through on a future episode. The uh, people I bought the properties from did say that there might actually be a safe in here. Wasn't the one I thought this was, but there's apparently a safe in the in the basement. I whispered it so the people at home don't know. Um, one thing that kind of got me a little bit excited is uh, when we were moving some of these boxes out of the way, I saw motor oil cans now that might not excite a normal person but see look right there that north star can that's like a 150 dollar can so i might actually find some uh higher end oil cans and if i find one that's buffalo or brand called red indian those could be thousands of dollars each so uh i think i'll be going through all these boxes marked tins very very carefully okay the guys have been hauling stuff out to the truck I asked them to start with the master bedroom because this is the room that I want to uh, sort into. So they've almost got it emptied out. But look at all the space in here. Um, so once this is all cleared out of furniture, then this will be the room where I kind of keep my good stuff, the stuff that's going to be going to auction, which so far is quite a bit of the contents of the house is are good sellable items. You know, the Cabbage Patch doll in the box, um, music DVDs, it's all sellable stuff, but we're, uh, we're gearing up for a furniture sale first. That'll be the first auction. And, uh, we have to get it all to the auction house sooner than later. So this is just a small portion of the stuff that came out of the garage. It's a couple of roll top desks, solid wood roll tops, mid-century table, mid-century modern, uh, sideboards antique tea trolley with the tray on top still this crew down here is working on getting stuff moved out of the uh, basement hallway into the space we now have in the garage it's just an awful lot of shuffling but we're trying to access the little desk and the table that are in the bathroom there is actually another bathroom down there who knows if it even works and abigail is coming right past me what are you doing, honey? I'm taking empty boxes to the master bedroom. Yeah, she's taking all the empty boxes upstairs so I can sort into them later. Find anything cool so far? Pumas. Yeah, I know. I kept those aside because they're in good shape. You know, this whole uh, there's a whole wall in this uh, sauna room that's nothing but, I think, new shoes and boxes. Really? I know. <laughs> Melissa's like, come on, are you kidding me? Brand new shoes. That's a heat. That's an electric blanket. I think so, isn't it? There are some. That's a doll. That's a doll. Mm. There's jackets. Yep, suede jackets. Uh, there was a, <coughs> a box of '80s clothes down here. I set aside. What is in this box? It looks like it was somebody had owed money to Columbia Record House. You buy the first book for ten cents, or you buy the, and then the rest are going to cost you the rest of your life. Self-scoring personal analysis test, understanding human behavior series. Hmm, I wonder how that went. All right, the dust is settling. You can kind of see. You can't see it in front of your eyes right now, but there's dust everywhere. <sighs> wow. Yeah. First time I've been able to access this washroom. I think the first time anybody in years has been able to. There's cobwebs. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't see it on camera, but there's cobwebs covering this door. And look, well, there is a table, which may or may not be salvageable, but look at this. Somebody made a successful door-to-door -door sales. Uh, you know what that is? Well, I know what that is. It's a Kirby vacuum. These are like stupidly expensive. Like how much would that thing be? Like over a thousand bucks. Yeah, it's maybe, I don't know. And the duct tape would have been extra. I, I guarantee it still works. They are a decent vacuum. Oh my, there's more stuff in here. Heidelberg, the stubby bottles still in the 
box. All sorts of clothes piled up in here from, oh, that's just a hood. There's all sorts of stuff there. Roller shutters. I was hoping to get this desk out. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way, Melissa. If you guys are able to, what we care about is getting that desk outside. I don't think we're gonna be able to salvage this table. That actually, if the boys can take the table out to the backyard, because uh, it looks like it's been damaged, and we'll get to the desk and we can take the desk out. So that's a Steven and Jason job. And oh my gosh, I'm getting covered in the spider webs. Ooh, medicine cabinet. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, what's in the medicine cabinet? There's something wrapped up in there. Let me, I'm gonna see if the water even still works. No, it works. Like, I don't think anybody's been in this bathroom since whenever that soap was from. And the wa the plumbing appears to be functional. Yeah, that's what I would check. Doesn't seem like it's leaking. Like, when was the last... There's a toilet here. I'd be surprised if that worked, but you never know. Uh, okay, back to business. Getting the desk out. What'd you guys find down here? Um, you going close. to the ball? Yep. <laughs> well, there are a lot of shoes around here. There have been many Cinderella's running and screaming out of this place. Leaving their footwear behind. Oh, I actually like that a lot. That's very 1980s. Yeah. I think I had a sweater very similar to this. Quick. What size is it? Is that Hannah sized? Probably not, but I still think it's funky. <gasps> small. It's small. You're small. The two could go I together. Oh, Abigail found... She found the OG baggy mum pants from the 80s. I love it. That's a thing right now. High-waisted baggy pants that you would never think were in are back in again. So all this 80s stuff, actually at the uh, Halloween store, they have this sort of stuff as costumes for people to wear right now. <laughs> if you guys find some stuff you like, you're more than welcome to take it home. Cool. We had comments on the last video, Stephen, about that, the canning uh, enamel canning pot. So that will eventually go to auction. We're just moving it in the garage to get out of the way. That feels like it's the top off one of those pieces of furniture that we moved outside. This little wooden piece there. That probably needs to go with... Jason, can you grab that? That little wood thing there? I think that goes on one of the pieces that... Uh, the bookshelf... Or not the bookshelf, the drawers that we took out. Yeah, just pull it. I'm going to hold the box. Which has some antique lamps in it. Ceiling light and a lantern. Another mid-century clock. Starfire sort of clock. All right. Making a little bit of room in the basement. Watch your step. <laughs> the boys are carrying a table outside and I'll show you guys what it is once it's out there. This is kind of a neat table. Uh, when you pull it out to expand it, the legs are actually designed to uh, go with the center. So it ends up uh, adding to its stability. Now there's probably leaves in the basement for it. Nice uh, turned legs on there. Okay, you can close that up boys. We'll go in the basement and look for the leaves for it. I have been getting clothing set aside so Abigail and Hannah can search through it. But Jason, you found something kind of interesting. Well, Mom did. Mom found it. Yep. Mm, people crackers, treat for dogs. It trains your dog to enjoy human flesh, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't think I'd want to wake up and have Chewy biting my foot. Here's another bag of clothes. Are you guys finding anything? Not really. Not yet. But we're looking this one. Tank top, okay. It still has the tags on it. Like, uh, oh, okay. They're kind of weird looking, but kind of cool. Cool, but weird. I know it is. A vintage clothing is definitely back in fashion, so. There's also these. Oh, yeah, that's like, that's kind of cool. It's gothy ish. Yeah. In a way. Okay, you guys have fun doing that. Steven is dismantling or attempting to dismantle this cupboard. This one is not being kept, so we're just going to take it apart. Uh, and I need to find you tools, yeah. which I think I saw them in the basement. Unfor okay, they got a little bit of the stuff out of this room. Grandfather clocks are still there. The, the truck is full. And we haven't even tapped into the stuff in the living room yet. Uh, or the stuff in the garage out back. Do you guys see a hammer anywhere in here? Uh, I remember there being a hammer, okay. It's warm. It's weird. 
Oh, it was in the sun. I'm like, why is this hammer warm? Okay, Steven, here you go. Hey. And it looks like... This is trouble. Did you guys find a bag full of stuffies? Yeah. <laughs> this is like oh, it's all Beanie, beanie Babies. Is that a plaid vest in there? Yeah, oh, it's a lot of socks. but maybe there's an argyle vest in there too. Yeah, hey, I think this one matches you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have fun sorting. Come back in here. I think there is some extra clothing in here that needs to be sorted out. So we'll get that all out of the way. And uh, after they pick out what they want, the rest of it's going to go to charity first thing tomorrow. I guess since we're sorting clothing, I should take some of this stuff upstairs and see if, if any of that's of interest to the girls but i do see something that's of interest to me men's fancy western shirts that's a nice one. Ooh, i might have to not that i should be taking stuff home for me but i do like me some fancy show shirts <laughs> cool all right well maybe there's something for me here too you never know anyway i'm gonna get the rest of this that looks like a suit is it a Western suit? You know, you find a suit that's by a brand name called Nudies. That's who used to make sh uh, show suits. No, that's not what that is. For Western stars. Um, and you never know, somebody who has fancy Western shirts might have uh, other fancy Western stuff in here too. Let's see. Boy, that is of another era. That's like a brown polyester men's jacket with a wide lapel on it. Very 1970s looking. Okay. Green, an old GWG shirt. GWG was actually made in the Edmonton area. And uh, Wayne Gretzky promoted them back in the day. They're not in business anymore, but that's a good vintage shirt for resale. All the things are happening here today. I can finally access this antique clock. You hear that? It's working. The pendulum isn't attached, which is fine. You're not supposed to move a clock with the pendulum. There's the weights. Everything's in here. This is a really nice craftsman style clock with the stained glass or the leaded glass front on it. And then even this one being newer is Seth Thomas. And Seth Thomas is a very good name in clocks. So two really nice clocks. It's nice to be able to stand in this room. I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to start sorting stuff. Uh... There are some vintage clothing too. Surrey Classics Canada. That looks like it's uh, wool, like merino wool maybe. Oh, cotton. No, oh, lot cotton lining. Yeah, it is mo. It's a mohair jacket. That would have been quite a pricey piece at one point, being mohair. Somewhere there's a joke between, you know, Larry Curly and Mo, or Mo hair, less hair. Anyway, it's a Mo hair jacket from probably the 60s. I'm going to grab some garbage bags now and start picking up the loose newspaper off the ground and really just start uh, sorting some things that uh, can go to charity and can go off to uh, auction. Gosh, there's a lot to sort. Even just this one bedroom alone would make a whole series sorting through this, let alone sorting an entire house. Found a Melissa. Actually, she found me. More yeah. like it. But look at this. You know what that is? Uh, what do you think? It's a knitting machine. Oh, my. Yeah, your grandma's addicted to knitting oh, machines my. and your mom. But that's brand new in the box. Cool. From who knows when, probably the 80s Are you or something okay? like that. Yep. <laughs> okay, maybe we should go check on Steven. Something's going on next door. Knitting machine's a good piece. I'm gonna go check on Steven. You guys are fully loaded, but there's one problem. Still have a whole house full of stuff. So you have more. Uh, so I'll have to talk to uh, Dan over at the uh, auction house and see about having you guys come back during the week. Yeah, I think we've got a couple. Well, we gotta clear up some room first for Monday to get this on the floor and then we'll go from there. Okay, well, all sounds good, guys. Thank you very much for making the trip. Oh, no problem, it was fun, it was enjoyable. Alrighty, I'm glad you have a positive outlook on things. Oh my gosh. Well, Stephen got the uh, big cabinet out of the way off this wall. There's a lot of debris all over the floor, which we're starting to put into uh, garbage bags. And we found 
what is likely the only bed that we've found in this whole house so far. And it was buried. See this? That's a bed. Buried under all these boxes. So I'm continuing to get stuff uh, thrown out in the trash. So when I come back here with Patrick, we can start filling the uh, dumpster when it shows up. Jason is busy picking up garbage off the floor. Melissa's helping to sort. Steven's hauling trash out. And I am sorting. That's not in there anymore. That, that's garbage. I can go to Steven to go outside. Going through these boxes and seeing what should be donated and uh, what should just be trash. A lot of Christmas ornaments and stuff. I can probably donate all that. The antique Christmas ornaments I am saving to put through auction, but the newer ones, uh, the, the less spectacular newer ones, will just go to charity. Okay, moving some boxes out of the way. This one was marked Toys, and look, it's a brand new 1980s Ghostbusters set. In the original, it, look, it's still in the box. That's neat. That's That can go in the... Uh, Oh, those are all those novelty pencil sharpeners that look like, you know, old radios and stuff. Or maybe it's dollhouse furniture. Actually, that might be dollhouse furniture. That's kind of cool. Popple. Yeah, Popple. We got a Care Bear. So maybe this whole box, we'll put this whole, what, what games do we have here? Shooting Gallery. That's an oldie. We'll put this whole box over in the uh, other room okay. for auction worthy. This box made the cut. That's cool. That's all auction stuff. Auction. Going through another box here. Look, we've got a Snoopy. It says it's a fun figure. It must be because he's got that quirky mustache. We'll keep that. We'll put that through the sale. Tape dispenser that can get donated. Um, goofy bar top accessory. Probably sell that. There's really not much, uh, like I said, no rhyme or reason. Burks might be solid silver. Do you want to check for silver marks? Sure. There's two spoons in here. It looks like silver. I can't read that. That's stainless, obviously. But sometimes these sets, if it's real silver, well, you can melt it down. So, King Gold letter opener like a little sword letter opener. Somebody will think that's neat. I'm guessing it's silver. I can't read it. Okay, let's put it in the keep pile. I'll go through it later. Yeah. Desk scribbling pad. Donate that. Mildly creepy antique picture. We'll keep. What did you find, Jason? Oh, antique cigarettes. Um, sure, we can put those in that box. Like, some of this stuff is antique that's in here. There's a silver set. Some of it's antique, and then other stuff is new. Or just unused random things that, you know. I mean, that's old. Not that people collect invisible tape, not to my knowledge. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully it's not an urn. Oh. That would suck. Oh, uh, I don't know either. Well, dig through, see if there's anything good. I found some uh, antique kazootite. These are like opera binoculars, usually made in Paris. So when you're sightseeing or looking at the opera from afar, you'd have these fancy little things with you. It's like a little needle. Oh yeah, needle book. Don't say needle book three times real fast. Needle book, needle book, needle book. It's like Beetlejuice, but different. You know it's a good joke when you have to explain it. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hey, funny boy. That's me. Mm. <laughs> See if you can figure out how to open that up. Oh. Are you going to film me while I do it? No. no I'll film you after you do it. Is this in the oh, keep file? Oh, there we go. Um, Oh, it's a Well, we'll keep that. We can sell that little box. What does this look like to you, Dad? Let's see. Is it like a little butane lighter? That's like what I was a thinking. portable camp lighter. Oh, no. This uh, this is an inkwell. Oh. That's like a really uh, ornate uh, traveling inkwell. It's 
cool. Because people used to write with cool pens, of course, so you'd have little traveling inkwell sets. That's neat. Huh. Oh, it says right on it, ink. Oh. But well, there are some actual antiques in here. Caskets. Oh, I thought I said casket cement. Ooh, grandpa's not getting out of this one. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> we used imperial casket cement. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, this is why you open up the little containers. There are some gold rings in here. 10 and 14 carat. And some other gold stuff. Including a gold tooth. There's always a gold tooth at the bottom of these. It's true. But... As gross as it is, gold is still... Gold. gold is gold. I, I've said that before. Silver is silver. Gold is gold. But... Weed eater. Ropes. So a lot of this stuff has some value. It's just whether it's going to be worthwhile to throw through an auction. That's a whole... Oh, that's... Uh, I think those are Red Rose Tea cards. That's Here, open that up. I think that's a whole set of uh, Red Rose Tea tobacco tea, tea cards. Yeah. Yeah. This whole box is actually kind of collectible stuff. Truthfully. This might be a uh, thing that I'll have to go through later because we're finding gold. We're finding um, random leash. It just says dinosaur picture cards, but they're just the... No, not those. Oh, that's what I was... That. That big bundle right there. I said the there. little one. That's what I was... Oh, I didn't know that's what you meant. Okay, yeah, oh. those are all. These ones. Yeah, those are all old. Um, would have come in packages of tea and stuff. Looks like there's a big bundle of them all stuck yeah. together. Flowers. Okay, we'll put those in the uh, auction box. And I saw this little jewelry box in there. The lid seems to be broken off on it. Unfortunately, the hinge is broken. But what I see looks like uh, some silver little maybe pill boxes, some perfume sets, fancy uh, ladies' dresser accessories. There's some jewelry, some uh, fun stuff there. Maybe we'll put that in, then we'll take home and we'll look at it. Okay. Oh, look, there's another one of these coin banks. These are actually really neat, like I saw another one in, the in, a, in a train set down there. Yeah, look. It seems like they started with the penny in there. Going through some of the boxes, we're getting some good stuff set aside for charity, some stuff that's going to go to the garbage. But I found this bag of seemingly cheap plastic planes, but if you look closely, it says Air Canada, DC-9s. These would have been given to kids when they got on an airplane for their first time. You, The pilot or whoever was getting you on the on board, the stewardess or, or stewards, would have uh, given the kids a plane. So that's a bag. Somebody did a lot of flying, or they just collected them for a number of years. There's things like bells, which... Not going to sell for a whole lot at auction, but somebody can reuse. Same with the Allen keys. Just lots of good stuff that uh, we'll be able to get to back out in society again. Darts. But we are finding some good boxes of auctionable items. So I'm happy for that. Well, this gave me a bit of a fright. I thought it was a fully loaded pistol, but it turns out it's a starter's pistol and it's got uh, blanks in it. So um, because it's not a real firearm... Different regulations and rules in Canada. You you have to be licensed to own a pistol. A starter's pistol is not an actual real gun, so that is something that can be sold. But uh, nothing like opening up what looks like a junk box and finding what you think is a loaded pistol. You know, all this work is just trying to get this bed out of here, but I have to sort everything. Look at this cute little cat tin. Probably an old, like, Bassett's candy tin. Oh, Horner. Somebody, people love these old candy and toffee tins like that. And it's got some neat stuff inside of it. Penny collector book with nothing in it. Check and make sure there's nothing in there. Empty glass jar. So what was in the envelope? Facts about potatoes. But Facts on, about potatoes. But on the inside, it says, here are your baking nails, madame. Reduce baking time. So what, you're supposed to hammer a nail through your potato like it's a vampire? Push nails through the potato and do not bake in foil. Or it will come back to life. Well, that's kind of neat. I haven't seen baking nails. I mean, I guess you could put any nail through a potato and make it a baking nail. We'll donate it. 
somebody watching at home is probably going to go, oh, I would have bought that. Dog tags. Make sure there's no jewelry or anything mixed in there. Newfoundland house moving card. There's another tea card. An itsy bitsy little hammer. That's probably out of an antique kid's uh, set. I'm keeping it around because I'll probably find the rest of it too. Okay. Well, that's another box ordered. This tray is an Anheuser-Busch beer tray. It's a replica of something that would have been around like in the turn of the century, 1900s. But it is still kind of cool and kind of neat. The graphics are really good on it. So that'll go in the uh, cell pile. Edmonton, oil capital Canada. Well, that's pretty old considering they don't really show any major buildings. It's kind of neat. Another lunch kit. Oh, and it's sealed in plastic. 1970 Roadrunner lunch kit, and it says with thermos. Yeah, because it's still sealed. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Oh, look. It's a loot. It's loot in the loot. A little uh, pan pipe. Like I could be uh, Newt from Hercules. If anybody remembers that old show. This whole box actually might be kind of collectible stuff. Uh, just to make sure I'm not putting anything. There's like lots of tins. These weird looking martini glasses that have look like an ice cube on the bottom. That's weird enough somebody might actually buy those. It's so hard to determine what to take to an auction and... Oh, there's a cool little Canadian tire truck. Oh, okay. Finding some stuff. Making some progress for sure, but still have not cleared many of these boxes off the top. And that's because I'm going through everything, everything because amongst the paperwork and the garbage is stuff that somebody would buy, like this horrifying image of a, uh, of a hook for an arm. <laughs> They've come a long way with their technology. But um, that's kind of a neat thing. You know, old medical books and things like that. So I'm just really sifting through and trying to make sure that uh, I don't throw away anything really super duper historic. Or really cool. That somebody might uh, buy at auction or decide that they want to save. Blah. Ooh, creepy. There is finally... Only one box left on the bed, and it's all old cookbooks. Royal Canadian Air Force cookbook, other cookbooks from clubs, recipe books. But that whole thing will likely get sold. People like their cookbooks. And then we can get this bed out of here. I'm hoping that there's not a pile of stuff under the bed, but I'd almost be shocked if there wasn't. The bed is finally out of this room. And we're trying to sort as we go from one side to the other. That's all going to be donate over there. This is still to be sorted. Melissa's just going through and seeing what the better china is. The yeah, that's that. Those type of plates. That's so you can put your little sandwich on it with your teacup. Yep, tea sandwich plate. Okay, I'm going to continue trying to get this cleared up and. You know, probably call it a day out here fairly soon because uh, we don't have a dumpster and I don't have any charities that are open. So it's only so much that we can do right now. Well, there's like a kerchief in here. Oh, Melissa yeah, is sorting. Yeah. We found a little bullet belt with the sheriff's thing on it. There's real spurs. Nice leather spurs. Got a Johnny Cash guitar plate. Cool. This is awesome belt. Yep. <laughs> but that's one you would actually wear, I think, right? Yep. Okay, this is good stuff, so let's find a box to put the keeper stuff in. Okay. What'd you find, Melissa? Cap gun? Yeah, let's see. Take it out. Does it have a name on it or anything? A Buffalo Bill Marshall. That's an old one, though. With a nice old holster. Good oh, condition. That's really cool. And also, a BB gun. Yeah. That's the, uh, I have the box for this in the basement. I was disappointed because I'm like, oh, there's the box for it, but now we got the whole thing. Hey, Steven, if you look in the basement, see if you can find the box for that. It should be in that room over there. It says Crossman, it's like a square box. I know I set it aside. 
Well, I've got records. And for the first time in a while, it's not all um, Nana Muscuri or Polka. There's Moody Blues, Vanilla Fudge. I see uh, Roy Orbison in there. Manhattan Transfer, John Lee Hooker. These are actually good records that could be sold individually for the most part, most of them. So a uh, nice little box of assorted records. If I come across some, uh, sometimes there's psychedelic rock in here that can be good. The relatives, it won't be long. What What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> are they going to get into a fight? Um, hopefully it's not that they're going to start dating. Oh, wait, no, it's Life in Jesus. It's not just, it's a religious album. Well, you can never tell with these sort of religious album covers what the heck is happening on here. That guy looks like, who knows how he got on the cover of a, a record, but there you go. There's, there's one for the uh, weird album covers of the world. <laughs> Check this out. I was going through these cassettes, and look, these are brand new, still sealed, 1980s cassettes. There's David Bowie. We got The Doors, Def Leppard never before opened those uh i'm sure will be ideal for some collector and there are collectors cassette tapes have really caught on in the last little bit maybe hb pencils will also catch on <laughs> if you remember having uh, a cassette and it would get caught and you'd have to stick your pencil in there and twirl it until it was back together so you could keep listening the worst is when it would get all like uh tangled up and it was like oh, okay. it's done for good there are, i'm surprised how many of these are actually still sealed queen still factory sealed those ought to bring an okay dollar actually well guys another day done here at the house and there's still so much more to go um we've been working pretty much all day making a pile of garbage and getting stuff cleared out. And this is about as far as we've taken it. Let me show you. In the basement, we've cleared some of the furniture in the hallway. Um, I have just stepped on a nail. Ouch. Luckily, it didn't go in my foot. Found the box for the Crossman. So I'll put those two back together. And hopefully next week, we'll get the auction company back here so they can come pick up some more of this furniture. Um, I was not expected to be three truckloads of furniture, but... You know, there's a lot of stuff coming out of this house. And look, I can get a little bit closer to the throne that's back over there. Another organ, a throne. Look at the look at the uh, funny sort of carved faces on the edge. That now, that chair. I don't know if I'll put that one through this auction or not. I might have to. They don't often do reserves on things, but that chair is probably like worth thousands of dollars. Um, if you go on first dibs is very expensive, but that's the only place you could find chairs that even look like that. And yeah, they're, they're up there. Um, but maybe we'll just run it through and see how it goes. There's other nice, uh, like more style recliner. Anyway, lots of furniture here. I'm going to shut the lights off. As Patrick and I will be back tomorrow. We can actually access the bathroom down there now. Down to Kirby vacuum. And looks like some Disney stuffed animals and stuff. Oh, we're going to get the lights turned off. And get things shut down around here. Doing the last little bit of sorting and cleaning. The girls are... What do you find, Abigail? Santa. Santa? See, I told you. Interesting day. Yeah, Hannah, you've never been to a place quite like this before, have I you? I have not. Uh, that's a reel to reel. They used to be able to listen to music on reels. They thought it was super high technology, better than a record. Yeah. And then eventually that would turn into the cassette, which we know and love today. Yeah, so it's like an early cassette. Okay, where's that Crossman gun? Oh, there you go. Can you put that in the box for me? Yeah, pellet gun? Yeah, BBs. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. We're going to pack it in here, kiddo, and we'll call it a day. So a lot more room in the rooms. Got some of the big furniture out of the way at the end of the hallway. Furniture is out of the master bedroom, but it's still so full of stuff. We are uh, going into the next stage, which is really 
all next week I want to start giving stuff away to charity, start clearing rooms, and um, I want to try and get the upstairs here more or less sorted and then move down to the basement and get that done. So tune in for more episodes, guys. Uh, thank you to my family for helping me out on this episode. There's so much stuff, but luckily they were able to find some things for themselves. Um, so back in the car, back home, and then I'm back at it again tomorrow. We'll see you guys and bye for now.